A lawsuit has been filed against the Doubletree Hilton Hotel. That's where this beautiful eight-year-old girl died in the pool. Attorneys provided an update this morning, and Fox 26's Jonathan Mejia was at that press conference, joining us live now from Northwest Houston with what the family is demanding, Jonathan. This has been a tragedy for the family of eight-year-old Aaliyah Heiko. Now, police say her body was sucked into a hole by the pool here at this Doubletree Hilton Hotel, which is right behind me. It's why attorneys are looking for justice. They're filing a lawsuit to the hotel and the local property owner. We are seeking justice for Aaliyah because uh, this could have been avoidable. Everybody knows this could have been avoidable. Aliyah Heiko and her family rented a room at the Doubletree Hotel in Northwest Houston to get access to the pool. What was supposed to be a fun pool day turned deadly. Attorney Richard Nava believes the hotel is at fault. There was an issue with the flow of the water, the backflow, and we believe that Aliyah was violently sucked into the hole that was about 16, 12 to 16 inches wide. Investigators say surveillance video shows the moment that Aaliyah, her younger sister, and another relative were all together at the pool. You could see her, uh, you could see them getting the other children out, and then when the 13 turned around, she was gone, so you could see her little head go down and never be seen again. Aaliyah's body was contorted when she was sucked into the hole and her body was inside of the motor when she was extracted. They had to break up concrete in order to extract her, cut pipe. It was absolutely horrific. There was a lot of criticism towards Aaliyah's mother for allegedly not being present at the pool and she received a lot of negativity. But the family's attorney says that's not true. All the evidence is going to point to this hotel ran an establishment with many violations. The pool was not in working order, and we were going to show that in court. Attorneys say that Aaliyah's family has not gotten a chance to see her body. They'll get the first chance to do so on Thursday, where she will be led, laid to rest. Now that it's open to the public, we have all the full details on our website at fox26houston.com. For now, I'm live in Northwest Houston, Jonathan Mejia, Fox 26 News.